Forgot Rama? Desert Rama? Come on, Rama, you're a landscape designer, you should know this. Hey, this is Rama from Creations Landscape Designs and the Open Landscapes blog. So I'm here at the Orange County chapter of the California Native Plant Society Garden Tour and I wanted to show you some of the gardens that are on this tour. But before I do that, I make videos about tolerant landscapes, California Native Plants, sustainability around California, and anything and everything in between. So if you'd like to get more of that content in your feed, then hit the red subscribe button down below. I'm also a residential landscape designer, so I'll have a link to my business website in the description of the video. So I'm going to turn this camera around. So this is the first garden that I've come to in Tustin. There's Cleveland Sage and Celia Californica, some autumn sage, what looks like some Dudleyas. That I think is a citrus, maybe? So I see some autumn sage, some what looks like Encilia californica, some Dudleyas, some I want to say uh, deer grass, a very beautiful manzanita. I'm thinking Howard Mickman, but I'm not entirely sure. <gasps> some hummingbird sage, Salvia spathacea. I believe this is the front and the backyard. <gasps> a gorgeous Cyanothus. I think Ray Hartman, but I'm not 100%. And then this Sycamore. Oh, I like this a lot. Right, native plants live here. Another Cyanothus, I believe Yankee Point maybe. Some non-native plants that were probably existing before the yard was renovated. Wow. Some pucaras, another gorgeous man, the little Jesus. Oh, look at the poppies. And a water fountain. Oh, how cool. So, this would be the entertaining area of this garden. This video is gonna get really long pretty quickly. Whoa, just a massive dudleya. Okay. Various varieties of dudleyas. This looks like a western redbud. So this is the other part of the garden. I'm going to walk around. The owner says this evolved over 17 years-ish. Lots of poppies and hummingbird sage. Oh my god. Oh my god. And some white sage and... <laughs> More Encilia californica. Look at that flower. <gasps> a mallow. I want to say apricot mallow, maybe? Maybe. Some deadlias. Uh, Mimulus orantiacus, monkey flower. I remember these fancy common names that are hard to pronounce. 
or fancy Latin names. Oh, jeez, look at this thing there. This is probably a Rogers red grape. Another Mimulus, I think this is Panaceus. Maybe. Okay, so this is the next garden on the tour and North Tustin and Incorporated Santa Ana. This appears to be an autumn sage. Some Raphaelepis. Yes, I know what Raphaelepis is, a non native, but I think this garden is probably a mixture of. Some irises. Hey, Dory. Some Cleveland sage. Ah, oh, look at this red bud. Holy Jesus! I have one in the backyard. That is I hear John somewhere. That tree over there. So Hi. Uh, people can see it driving up the cul-de-sac over the top of the roof of our house. That's wow. It's way past blooming. So yeah, but it's up. it's bigger than normal. Lots well, of nice darkulous irises. <gasps> A juncus. Love me some junkus. A manzanita. This almost. Is this? I wonder if this is Bird Hill manzanita. Tina? Bird Hill? I don't know. I don't know. It's got a rough bark. I almost want to say Bird Hill. But anyway. Another red bud, wow, Jesus. Okay, this one says Arctostaphylus hukurai. Wayside mines in Nita. Hey, see you know with this. But I can't recall the species. See you know this? Remote? Blue. Cool, all right. Okay, I'm going to go in the back now of this garden. She was born in China. So. Oh, my gosh. Love. Love, love. <laughs> Thank you so Thanks, much, Connie. Connie. We'll see you Tuesday. Bye, Hi. Hey, welcome. <laughs> What kind is that yellow flower right there? Uh, this is a mini-lip so we can see the flower so it's going along with Oh, you have to take it here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, this is the one that I have. Lots of succulents and delphias here, which is the perfect place for them. Poppies. Some fairy duster, it looks like. <coughs> Hi. How are you? Good, good. Mallow. Oh, that's a Baja fairy duster. Lots of poppies and don't know which variety of mallow this is though, but it's beautiful nonetheless. Ancilia californica. 
Is that a big red bud? Holy gee. Oh, wow. Oh, another red bud. Whoa. And then some uh, white grass. More mallow. I want to say this is April. All right. This is the third garden we're at in Trobico Canyon. The two before were in Tustin. This is a gorgeous desert museum Palo Verde with some poppies underneath. Some Dudley is here. I really like this. This one looks like it was professionally designed. Maybe. Some mallow. It might be the front yard only. Is there more in back? Yeah, where do we see the view at the very back? Oh, fantastic. Some uh, Davias by the front door. This is Montara, right? Yeah. It looks like. The Montara Artemisia, maybe. See ya. In the birch trees, I always had a soft spot in my heart for birch trees. Did you go up with them? Excuse me for butting in. Some white grass. I grew up with a weeping willow. Oh, yeah, me too. I never see them. Okay, we're going to go in the back. The ladies were saying the view is spectacular. Another red bud, I think. Beautiful. I forget what this sage is. I want to say bees blessed, but I can't remember exactly. Some ferns. Again, a mixture of natives and non-natives, which is fine. Sometimes, due to budget, you can't replace everything. Ah. Oh. Holy shit balls. Wow. This is, I want to say, Sienna the Skylar? Maybe. Some uh, hookahs. I like this kind of look of the red bud with the agave and the other plants. This is, um, it's an origeron, seaside daisy, I don't know which specific variety. Another cyanothus. Some more blue-eyed grass on the other side of the uh, uh, pool. Oh my! Uh, Tina? <laughs> Has your jaw dropped yet? Because mine just did. Yeah. You know, just, you know, this is Yankee Point. It looks like Yankee Point, anyway. Did you notice that um, Salvia on the way the corner. I think that's Bee's Bliss. Not 100% certain. So then you come down here, there's there's Hummingbird Sage. Whoa. Massive Dahlia. Mixture of natives and non-natives. Just this is like a big red yucca. Jesus. Man, oh. Wow. 
this view. This view is wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. This is not what I was expecting. I'm so happy. I thought it would be just like that view. But this wow. Heavenly. Oh. So this is the fourth garden that we're at. We're going to go to one more after this. And then call it a day. There's just a lot to see. Some juncus, some lamas, some Cuban say, Patrick's Point Fescue, Blue White Grass. Let's see, I know if there's something. Oh, a nice dry creek bed. This one's also nice. But not as wide. Nowhere near as wide. Grows more like see the podocarpus there? Uh huh. Just beyond that Volkswagen in the driveway? More like that growth one. But a little pointy on But not super wide. Is this Rubina? No. It's the Lilacina. Oh. Lilac Rubina, I was right. Yay. I've never seen the white Sphereosia. That's pretty. Yeah, white mallow. It's, it's, I haven't seen it's it too not often. Really white. It's, more creamy. it's more creamy white. Kind of a pale yellow white. <laughs> so, this is the fifth garden that we're going to, that we're at, to in. The uh, Laguna Hills, jeez. I'm guessing the hardscape was existing. This looks like it's, I want to say it looks like it's silly for no, so, oh no, it's Paratile Parat Parat and Canna, I think, right here. This is probably here. I think it's a xylosma. And of course there's a creek bed. Lots of juncus. Now the juncus is planted in the center of the dry creek bed, but it will tolerate six inches of standing water. Oh, some lamus. Some mallow. Some cucaras up there. Looks like a front yard only. I believe it is a front yard only. I'm gonna guess the hardscape was here prior to doing the garden. So we decided to go to a sixth garden. In this case, there's salvia in the front, some mallow up there. Really nice. Wow, the architecture is pretty. Some uh, Galvisia Gran Canyon. Canon, how do you pronounce it? The architecture is really beautiful. Oh, look, they have. Columbia. They have what? I like the look of the pavers. Definitely. Worth it if you've got the budget for it. Some more mellow. Wow. Oh. 
some Pensamen heterophilus, Pensamen heterophilus margarita, some Festuca rubra, more blue eyed grass. Everybody seems to be loving blue eyed grass. This now is the bird hail manzanita. Hey Celia. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Boy, this is a great garden. It is. This one's a nice garden. Oh. Hi, Patty. Where do you live? This is electric blue sage, salvia, uh, shoot, it's a salvia, and I can't damn remember. Another man, Zanita. The view is nice, and I'm walking on artificial grass. Definite noise from the freeway, but then again, you sacrifice hearing the noise for the ocean view, so there's that. Another mallow. This, I believe, is at a Fujio Manzanita.